Sheen Show. Yeah, boy. Welcome, Outward Adventurers. Today, we are talking about one of the most unique backpacks in the game. The Preservation Backpack. This thing looks like an alchemy tool and is primarily green. The carrying capacity is decent at about 75. This is better than most backpacks, uh, but nowhere near the biggest one in the game. However, what's special about the Preservation Backpack is that it preserves your perishable items, such as food and plants, by 75%. This is the single best way to travel with good food and almost never lose it. Here's how you get it. Start by heading to your campaign quest and beginning it. This has to be done first or you will not get the Vendevil quest line. After you have picked Levant, Monsoon, Berg, or Harmattan as your quest line, head back to Sierrazo and speak to Burak Karelian. Burak will inform you of the dire threat of the Vendevil, who plan an imminent attack on Sierrazo. He asks for your help and preemptively dealing with the bandits before they are able to raid the city. The next step is to head over to Ito and talk to him. He is the skill trainer here in town. But before we do so, we are going to try and get one blue sand and three iron scraps. Iron scraps can be um, grabbed from any iron weapon. You can dismantle them and get iron scraps, or you can mine them around areas. There's one in the uh, Sierzo storage back there. Very easy to get, so don't worry about the iron. You can get those anytime. Blue sand, however, is only obtained from fishing and a few spots on the beach. So if you uh, can't get it from fishing, go to the beach real quick and grab one. You only need one. You don't need any more than that. Uh, then you're going to go over to the cook here in town. He is up on the balcony. By Ito, go talk to him and grab one Gayberry wine. Or Gabberry wine, however you want to say it. <laughs> Next, you're going to talk to Ito, and you're going to choose option two. Is there a safe way to get inside? Give Ito three iron scrap and one blue sand, and he will give you a kazite mask and makeshift leather attire. He'll also teach you a word that you'll need to say to the bandits in the Vendevil Fortress in order to get in. Now that you have the kazite mask and the leather attire, you can go ahead and put those on and head over to Vendevil Fortress. The mask will give you negative stamina, or uh, decrease the amount of stamina that you use while you're running, so it's good to use while this, because at the beginning of the game you're going to be super slow and run out of stamina fast. You can just enter the Vendevil Fortress and kill everyone, however you will not be able to get this backpack, so it's important to note that you need to make sure you follow the instructions here. A lot of this quest has to do with running back and forth, now one place we will have to go is past the uh, Ghost Pass, and we will go into the Corrupted Tombs. There's going to be a Wendigo in there, and if you know what a Wendigo is, you know that it's a pretty tough enemy, especially starting out at the very beginning of the game. It's going to be very difficult to defeat. However, buy a bunch of lanterns, and we will use these to defeat it later. Just go ahead and grab four or five of them while you're at town, and uh, I will explain how to use those when we get there. In order to do the non-combat path, uh, you can get a power coil by doing this. You're going to go ahead and talk to Croc. He's going to be sitting on the table. Do not say that you're here to have sleep or whatever because he'll imprison you what you want to do is you want to say oh i'm looking for someone to drink with and then you want to say you have a bottle of gabberry wine he will get drunk and he will ask about or he will say stuff about wanting to fight people you're going to choose option three and say anyone even someone like burak the warden of sierzo this will send him into a frenzy and make him go fight burak who he will obviously lose to because Burak is much more powerful than him. This will give you a power coil and a few other things. Now you can pass the guards as long as you have the attire on and say the right words. It's going to be option one. Head up the stairs to your right. There's going to be an elevator up there. The lever should be on the elevator. Go ahead and walk up to it and pull the lever. Now you want to go up here. There's going to be a witch. And there's going to be two guards. They should not attack you. Go ahead and talk to the witch. You can kill her, but in order to get the backpack, we cannot kill her. So go ahead and say, I want you to call off the war against Sierzo. And then she'll have a dialogue that she'll talk to you about. Basically saying she wants you to go kill a Wendigo because she's attached to it through a marriage. The uh, Wendigo used to be her husband. And he basically beat her and stuff. So she wants him killed because she has nightmares about it. And uh, now, in order to 
To do the next part of the step, we have to go all the way to the corrupted tombs. You're going to want to head to the Ghost Pass. It is on basically the other side of the map. You're going to need to cross through this. I'm not going to show this because it's pretty easy, self-explanatory. Just pull a couple levers and you can make it through. Once you come out on the other side, you're going to want to head to the blue building in the left corner across the lake. Run across the bridge. Be careful, there is a horror in this area. He spawns... Uh, Near the entrance, or near the exit where you come out of most of the time, but he can spawn on the other side. Just be aware of that. Go ahead and enter the Corrupted Tombs, and you will come into this gigantic ice cave. It looks crazy cool. The Wendigos are going to be on the bottom, and kind of like an enclave. Now, here's where we're going to use our torches. There's a torch skill. Not a torch, but our lanterns. So that we're going to have a lantern skill where you can throw a lantern. This does mass amounts of fire damage. So if you equip the lantern... You don't need to light it or anything, but you just have to have it equipped. You can throw it at him using that skill. And Wendigos are really weak to fire because they like ice. Now be careful because some of these edges, it won't actually throw it. It'll like get caught and do what it just did there and just stop. Now he did notice me when I did this, so just if you want to get the jump on him, you're going to have to try and not make any noise. I think he... Uh, I think the Wendigos hear more than they can see because you can actually walk right up to this guy. And he won't really attack you as long as you're sneaking. So what you want to do is uh, throw a lantern at him, get him on fire, and then whenever you get a chance, equip your other lantern. You should be able to get him caught on a rock or stuck behind something while he's using an ability. Then you're going to throw the lantern again when you get a chance. Usually I like to wait till he attacks. Um, that gives you a little bit more time. Then Plus, while he's attacking, he's usually not going to move too much right after it so he'll sit in the fire this is probably one of the easier ways to kill a wendigo once you get up to the more high skills and stuff it's still i, I recommend using this sometimes because not a lot of stuff does more damage you can use the magic skill that's called flamethrower but this one's actually safer because you stay away from it only problem is, is that you waste a lot of lanterns but if you use the basic super cheap lantern i think it only costs like six or eight or something it's super cheap and this is, uh, I killed the Wendigo with a super basic character. No magic on this guy, just started him, so it, this is very possible. Now that you uh, have killed the Wendigo, the quest will update, and you're going to go ahead and exit this cave. Don't worry about fighting anything else. Head all the way back to the Witch at Vendeville Fortress, and you're going to want to talk to her. Now that we've made it back to Vendeville Fortress, we're just going to go up the elevator and walk up to her. I don't know if you need the uh, mask and attire on for this. I would keep it on just in case. So now that you talk to her, you're going to, once again, say I want you to call off the war. And then she will ask you about your, her husband, asking what happened to him. And you say he became a Wendigo. And she's like, oh yeah, that sounds about right, because she could feel all the ice. And she will give you a power coil, which is neat, but also the preservation backpack. This is the only way to get this backpack. And if you kill these guys, you cannot get this backpack. So it's, it's a very unique item. It helps out your food preservation incredibly, and is honestly just super neat. I think this is a really neat addition to the game, and it's hidden, kind of, because you don't have to do this, and you might not even find it most of the time. So, uh, Thanks for watching the video, guys. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you can, and I will catch you in the next video.